Hello, and welcome to Copious Crafts. I'm Sharon, and I work at Reston Regional. Today, we are going to show you how to do some nature rubbings. Ideally, we wouldn't be picking live leaves and such, but after our storm, we've had a couple leaves on the ground, so we were able to go and find a few. And so what we're going to do is we've gone out and we've found some things that have some really cool texture on them. And we're going to see if we can get them transferred to a paper. So what we're going to do is we just take a regular piece of paper and we've got some colored pencils that are nicely sharpened so they have a nice long lead. And then we have a couple pieces of crayon without the paper on them. They're a lot wider and a lot smoother because... We need that for the bark. So let's get started. We've chosen to put a flat surface here because the my green cutting board has cuts in it which do actually show up when we start. You can create your own little picture here. And we have one little spot that we're going to try to avoid coloring in. There's a seed there from our red maple tree. And we have an ivy leaf. And we have another leaf. And then we've got some pine that we're going to put together here. And we're going to spread that out a little bit. So that we have kind of a, a little picture here. What's really kind of cool is you could do this on top of a piece of wax paper and put two pieces of wax paper together and then you could, except for the bark, you could uh, actually then put another cover sheet over top of it and you could actually iron that. But that's a whole other project for another day. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our rubbing. We're going to lay just a plain piece of white paper over top of the and we're going to kind of hold it in place. And you know where you plant, placed your leaves, so let's do our ivy leaf first. You're going to lay your pencil on the side. And you're just going to kind of go lightly back and forth until you start seeing the pattern come up. got our evergreen over here which is kind of cool looking and then we're going to go over here to this side you can see how the texture of the leaf we laid it so that it was face down so that we get to see all the veins and everything on the back of the leaf. Oh, this is where our little maple is, our little maple leaves. There they are. And you can change back to a different color. tell when you run off of whatever you're doing. It's kind of cool when you mix up the colors a bit. And you can just kind of go back and forth that way. And then our last one, remember we're trying to avoid that right there, is we're going to use some green on our bark. Now our bark is a lot bumpier so I'm doing that kind of last, but we find that if you kind of go up and down on the bark, you get some really cool looking textures from it. And that's our nature. 
nature rubbing.